Hello friends, welcome to Knowledge Ninja Academy and in this lecture we are going to see gear drives. So first of all we will see some gear nomenclature. First one is pitch circle. So this is this line is the pitch circle. So it is an imaginary circle which by pure rolling action would give the same motion as the actual gear. Then pitch circle diameter. It is the diameter of the pitch circle and the size of the gear is usually specified by the pitch circle diameter from the center. Uh, then then we will see addendum. So addendum it is the radial distance of a tooth from pitch circle to the top of the tooth. So this is the top of the tooth and from the pitch circle to the top of the uh, tooth this radial distance is called as addendum. Then dedendum it is the radial distance of a tooth from the pitch circle to the bottom bottom of the tooth. So from the pitch circle to the bottom of the tooth this uh, radial distance is called dedendum. Then similarly addendum circle is the circle drawn through the top of the teeth and is concentric with the pitch circle. And dedendum circle is also drawn through the bottom of the teeth which is concentric with the pitch circle. Dedendum circle is also called as root circle. Then circular pitch. It is, the radi it is the distance measured on the circumference of the pitch circle from a point of one tooth to the corresponding point of next tooth. So here circular pitch is this the distance from here to here. Again we will see circular pitch is the distance measured on the circumference of the pitch circle on the circumference of the pitch circle from a point of one tooth from a point of one tooth to the corresponding point of the next tooth it is called as circular pitch then next next one is diameter diametral pitch so Diametral pitch is it is the ratio of number of teeth to the pitch circle diameter in the millimeters. So number of teeth to the pitch circle diameter, pitch circle diameter. Uh, this ratio is called as diametral pitch. Then module. Module is the ratio of pitch circle diameter in millimeters to the number of teeth. So it is inverse to the diametral pitch that it is the ratio of pitch circle diameter pitch circle diameter uh, to the number of teeth. Then working depth working depth it is the radial distance from the addendum circle to the addendum circle to the uh, to the clearance circle. So this is the clearance circle. So the radial distance from the addendum circle to the clearance circle is called as working depth. Then what is tooth thickness or width of space? Oh, sorry, sorry. What is tooth thickness here? The tooth thickness is the width of the tooth measured along the pitch circle. So this is the pitch circle. So the width of the tooth measured along the pitch circle is called as tooth thickness. Then next one is tooth space which is also called as width of space. <coughs> so to tooth space or width of space between the two adjacent teeth measured along the pitch circle. 
so it is the distance between the two teeth measured along the pitch circle now what are gear drives we will see our gear drive is a positive drive to achieve a definite velocity ratio between two rotating shafts so here we are using two gears uh, along with two rotating shafts uh, or the two gears are mounted on uh, two rotating shafts and we are going to achieve a definite velocity ratio and it overcomes the limitation of belt slipping so in belt drives we have seen belt slipping creep of belt so due to that disadvantages these disadvantages are overcome by gear drives then classification of gear drives first one according to the axis of shaft first parallel the axis of shaft are parallel and coplanar then that type of gear uh, gear drive is called as spur gears the spur gear in in the spur gear teeth are parallel to the axis and similarly if the teeth are inclined to the axis we call these as helical gears then second one is non parallel or intersecting axis so non parallel and coplanar these bevel gears uh, so sorry these gears type of gears is called as bevel gears and third one is non parallel and non intersecting type so one of the example is spiral gears then next classification is according to the type of gearing so first one is external gearing so in this gears are meshed externally that is they rotate in opposite direction larger gear is called as spur and smaller gear is called as pinion second one is internal here gears may are meshed internally that is they rotate in same directions larger gear is here called as annular and smaller is called as pinion so next we have seen already seen the definition of circular pitch so here we are going to see uh, the formula Cir circular pitch is denoted by pc equals to pi d upon t circular pitch is pi d upon t where d is the diameter of the pitch circle and t is number of teeth on wheel then for two gears to mesh properly this circular pitch should be same on both the gears so from this uh, formula pi d1 divided by t1 for first gear and pi d2 divided by t2 for second gear should be equal so we will get this formula d1 by d2 equals to t1 by t2 then module module is defined by ratio of pitch circle diameter divided by number of teeth so m is equal to d by t so next next the law of gearing so just remember this the law of gearing states that the common normal at the point of contact between a pair of teeth must always pass through the pitch point the next point is next definition is interference it is the phenomenon which the when the tip of a tooth undercuts the root on its mating gear so it is an an undesirable phenomenon so here a 
वन वन गियर्स गियर टूथ टिप अंडर कट्स द रूट ऑफ इट्स मेटिंग गियर्स टिप सो इट इज टू बी एवॉइडेड सो टू एवॉइड द इंटरफरेंस और सिस्टम ऑफ गियर टीथ इज देयर एंड मिनिमम नंबर ऑफ टीथ ऑन पीनियन इज देयर सो फॉर फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर गियर सिस्टम्स द नंबर ऑफ नंबर ऑफ टीथ ऑन पीनियन इज गिवन